Hi, my name is Shristi and welcome to day 27 of the 30 day Mean Stack Honolulu Challenge. Uh, yesterday we, uh, we had a look at using our create customer modal to create a new customer record. Let me just go over and find that. Um, so I go to customers, go to our list of customers, and um, we use this button here for new customers to pop open our new customer modal window. Um, now, what we found yesterday is that when we populated the details for the customer record and we went ahead and saved and closed the modal, um, when we went back to have a look at our list of customers, our customer wasn't appearing there. It wasn't until we actually refreshed the page, um, went back and grabbed the data back from the database that we could actually see that there had been a customer created. Now today we're going to change um, that process a little bit and what we want to achieve is that when we um, click on that button to save our customer record, we, we want that process to notify our list of customers and let it know that we have added a new customer to the list and to refresh and show that customer for us without doing any um, crazy kind of navigation. So in order to do that, now that we've sort of set the scene, um, we actually um, are going to create a new service. And the way that the service is going to function, it's gonna be um, kind of generic, um, but it's gonna allow us to send data to and from different parts um, of our app. Um, and primarily it's gonna let us send data from um, our modal window when we save a record through to um, our list of customers and, and that will be able to receive um, that message. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start by um, going across to our customer's client service. So this is the service we previously have um, and this was set up by the Yeoman generator. We haven't done or we haven't made any changes to this so far. So in order to start, we'll just grab the Angular um, module at the top there I'll just show you a different way um, to work with um, these factories. So um, if we just put angular.module.customers, um, we can put in just a dot .factory reference. If we want to add in another factory, we can just copy this, um, this existing one, and, um, and just paste it in over here. So we can just, I'll just grab that semicolon back, make sure we've got a semicolon. Um, and we've got our factories and they, they can just be indented in just to indicate that these form part of, um, of that module there. Okay, so let's, um, let's get into our, our factory. Now, just for consistency purposes, I'm going to make a couple of changes here. I'm going to just move that function up there and um, I'm going to remove, just see where that comma and just remove everything that's sitting in here for the moment. So we're going to create a new factory um, the, we're going to just call it uh, notify, so uh, notify, and um, instead of resource, we're going to use root scope, um, and we just got to do the same thing, so just copy that and put that into here instead of resource. So we've got root scope and root scope, then we move down into um, our actual Okay, so we're going to um, create a variable called notify. Just going to assign that an object, and now we're going to give it a couple of uh, methods. So um, notify first thing method we can have is send message. So we're going to allow it to send a message, and we're just going to turn that into a function. So a function. Um, it's going to have message details, and there'll be some data that gets passed through as well. And um, when that data comes through, it'll either be assigned to um, the data that's being passed, or it'll just be assigned um, to an object. Um, we're going to plug in root scope, and um, we're just going to call uh, a, a, a sort of a, a uh, an element that comes with um, with Angular called emit, um, and emits and broadcasts a, a good um, items to, to get you sort of head around when you're working with Angular to get an understanding of passing data um, up and down through the root um, of your app. And um, we're just going to put at the end of this a console log 
um, just to indicate that our message has been sent. Okay, so that's the first part um, when we're sending our message. And then we're going to create another one. So we're just going to semicolon that off. Just another one down here. Um, it's another message. So notify. This one's going to be uh, get message. Uh, so function message. We're going to pass through function. Oh, let's just call that, uh, um, let's say fun. And scope. I'm going to pass through a couple of things here. Um, we're going to create a variable unbind root scope um, and just on message uh, function that gets passed through. Okay, so if scope, so if there's some pass through, we're going to scope on and just do a destroy. Destroy and unbind. So just clean it up at the end. Um, and that, let's have a quick look through here. Um, just close off that to give me some formatting. Right, okay, cool. So that's good. So I've got my notify, send message, function message data. We've got our data, we've got our emit, we've got our message being sent. So we'll see that in the console logs. Um, and then we'll get a message. So what we want to do is this this portion of the code here, this is going to be the bit that um, that sits uh, or, or that's um, referenced when we save a new customer record um, from the modal window. Um, and this bit of code here is going to be referenced by the list of customers. And that's going to be in the lookout um, for receiving information um, and, and updating um, the, the scope with that. And then sort of removing that message. So um, it, it, it's destroyed. So let's go and now plug these two things um, in some way. Firstly, we'll jump across to customers client controller and um, we'll just go to and oops, sorry, not customers update controller. We want to go into um, our customers create controller and just where we've got customers save in the response of save. Um, there's something we want to do here now before we can actually use um, the the service that we that we've created we actually need to pass it into this controller so just at the end here um, we'll just plug in notify and just make sure you've got a comma on the end of that and just copy that and also plug that after customers so remember no um, no uh, single quotes when when it's at this level but we do have single quotes up here okay so now we're going to refer to our, our service. So we've got notify, so now we've got access to it. Um, we're going to send a message. And the message that we're going to send, or the data that we're going to send through, is that we've got a new customer. And um, what we're also going to send through is some details of who that is. So we're going to say uh, ID, oops, I should just put that into single quotes. So ID. Um, and then we'll just pass through, um, see this response here. So we're going to say uh, response. Um, and then we dot, and then when we're referring to data from Mongo, uh, we're referring to the ID, we always put an underscore ID. So it's response ID, just like that. Um, and at the end of there, we just plug a little, oops, just waiting. Okay, so at the end of that, we're just going to put in a semicolon like that. So, so we're going to use the notify service um, to send a message of new customers. That's the data we're sending through. Um, well, that's the message we're sending through. And the data that we also want to pass through with that message is ID. Um, the ID of the customer is the response ID that's returned as part of this save function. Okay, cool. Um, now we need someone to receive that particular message. Um, and uh, for that, we'll go to actually just go down to our our directive that we created for the customers list. So we already know that we're using this directive for our customers list. So here we're going to now add in 
um, a reference to that same notify service. Okay, so to do that, we'll just go to um, just before function. Um, we wanna we wanna put in a couple of things here. So um, we need to go with we need to pass in the customer service as well as the notify service. And the reason we need to pass in the customer service is so that we can requery um, the customer data. So customers and notify. Okay, so we've got customers and notify. I got that twice. Um, single bracket, single quotes here, no quotes over here. So similar kind of concept in all the places that we've gone through. So I did mention a few days ago that we would come back and we'd have a look at this um, this link function here and put some um, put some stuff in here. So I'm just going to um, start with comment. Um, so um, when a new customer is added, um, update the customer list. Okay, so let's now um, do something. So we're going to go um, notify. So using our service, um, get message, which was the second method that we'd added. And the name of that method, the, the, the date that we're looking for is this thing here. So new customer, paste that in. Um, we receive that, we want function event data. So we're just passing through some generic data here. Um, just gonna put a, um, a, a single, a, a curly sort of brackets here and what I'm going to say is when this when when we get this notification that a new customer has been added, um, we we have to go back and requery. So if you remember, um, when we when we set up our list of customers, we had this um, this construct here of this dot customers customers query. We can grab that and just um, so this is just part of our customers controller. Take that. I'm just going to paste that in to this notification message here. So the customers query part is fine, but in this context, because we're in a directive here, um, because we're using a directive um, to display our list of customers in, in using that template, um, we need to change it up a little bit. So we're going to go scope because this is the context of how directives sort of work. Um, and we also need to determine which controller we're looking at. So let's put in um, customers CTRL because that's the, um, the controller name. So that, and just put a semicolon at the end there. Scope, customers control, customers, that should do us. So, um, so remember the truth. Let's go and check, check, test this out. So just save that. And um, we'll go across to our app, just let that refresh. Okay, so let's go and create a new customer. So go to new um, and um, let's call this guy Bugs Bunny. Okay, so save and close. Um, cannot read property. Okay, so there there is a reason for that, and that's because I haven't actually returned um, the notifier back into um, into the factory. So, oops, sorry. Let me go and fix that up. So, in order to fix that up, we just go back to our uh, customers client service and just pop down. Just after this notify get message, we um, we need to return notify oops notify like that and then just semicolon ah one little couple little words missing try that again so just let that refresh okay so i had created bugs but obviously the service wasn't wasn't working so we'll try that again so create new um this time let's go with donald 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 trump okay so just Save that, and let's just um, have a look at what's going on down here. So um, we we had we did a post, and then um, we've obviously connected to our service because we've uh, we got the message, the console log of message sent, um, and then we did a get, um, and there's um, there's our record, Donald Trump, without us having to physically go and um, and refresh the page or navigate the user uh, to a different page. So um, we've done quite a bit of um, code today um, and some of that um, you may not really understand. 
but um, getting familiar with the way that um, services work and how they can actually pass data between controllers and scopes um, is just a really powerful way um, to, to use Angular. Um, well, that's, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details, and I'll see you tomorrow.